Good morning children welcome back to the fifth lecture on the topic language of chemistry Energy plays a key role in chemical processes there are bonds between atoms in the reactants which are broken during a chemical reaction and the atoms or pieces of molecules are reassembled to form new products by forming new bonds in this process energy is absorbed to break bonds and energy is evolved when the bonds are formed the energy released or absorbed in a chemical reaction can be in the form of heat energy light energy sound energy electrical energy or any other forms of energy students i am sure you must have seen crackers bursting or the sparklers high up in the air these sparklers contain magnesium when lit magnesium reacts with oxygen in the air and produces light and heat the chemicals inside a rocket when lit react with the oxygen in the air and produce heat light and sound energy while studying the characteristics of a chemical reaction we have already completed evolution of gas and change in color today we start with change in temperature when a candle burns heat and light energy is produced sometimes even sound is evolved when chemical reactions occurs for example bursting of crackers to make things simple and clear here i have taken a magnesium ribbon it is slightly gray in color i fix it to the test tube holder like this i have taken a spirit lamp i light the lamp and bring this magnesium ribbon on to the flame the magnesium ribbon catches fire and starts burning see the brilliant white light dazzling white light magnesium ribbon has burnt and it has got converted into white color ash the product is magnesium oxide and you can see the nature of the product is different from what we had started with that is the reactants a chemical reaction has taken place we write down the chemical equation as 2 mg plus o2 will give you 2 mgo mgo is white powder now things that we note in this particular experiment is that the reaction started with the help of a flame once the reaction starts lot of heat and light is given off so this reaction is a exothermic reaction and when we balance the chemical equation we do this keeping in mind the law of conservation of mass heat and light energy is also produced when coal burns the chemical name for coal is carbon carbon in presence of oxygen there is a chemical reaction combustion takes place and the product formed is carbon dioxide next activity that we are going to do is we add water to quick lime quick lime chemical name is calcium oxide in a plastic bowl i have taken quick lime and placed it in a bucket of water i add water to quick lime chemical reaction takes place and the product formed is calcium hydroxide lot of heat energy is produced during this chemical reaction students are advised not to do this reaction you can see the reactivity of the reaction between calcium oxide and water yes always use face protection gloves and apron the heat energy produced is so much so that even the plastic bowl that i had taken melts in certain places
Now the chemical reaction we write is CaO plus H2O gives you CaOH whole twice. To further explain evolution of heat, we now have taken calcium carbonate. You can see it's written on the bottle calcium carbonate CaCO3. It is powdered chalk. And we have taken sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. We take the help of a spatula and put some calcium carbonate into the test tube. Calcium carbonate is white powder. With a stopper, I add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. See the vigorous reaction taking place. Can you see the bubbles? Oh, it's very hot. Lot of heat energy is produced due to the reaction between sulfuric acid and calcium carbonate. We add a few more drops to show the vigor of the reaction. Yes, have a look. It's too hot. Heat is released. We write down the chemical reaction as H2SO4 plus CaCO3 gives you CaSO4 that is calcium sulfate, water, H2O and carbon dioxide. Next, we have the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base. And this reaction also produces lot of heat. The products formed is water and salt. At this point, we define exothermic reaction, a chemical reaction that releases energy through light or heat. The reactants change into products plus energy. It is opposite to an endothermic reaction. Now, what is endothermic reaction? A chemical reaction in which the reactants absorb heat energy from the surrounding to form products. These reactions lower the temperature of their surrounding area, thereby creating a cooling effect. The first and the foremost example for endothermic reaction is photosynthesis. It is most important for existence of life on earth. It is a chemical reaction in which plants use the energy from the sun to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. The presence of chlorophyll pigment is very very important in conversion of the reactants to products. The chemical reaction is 6CO2 plus 6H2O gives you glucose C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Students, you are aware of the fact that 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen and 21% is oxygen. Yet, nitrogen and oxygen do not react together in the atmosphere at normal temperatures. They do so only at very, very high temperatures to form nitric oxide. Now that high temperature in the atmosphere is attained only during lightning. During electrical storms, oxygen molecule and nitrogen molecule in the air react to form nitrogen monoxide or nitric oxide. Now this occurs at a temperature almost above 3000 degrees centigrade. Another such example of endothermic reaction is the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. When you heat calcium carbonate at a temperature above 1000 degrees centigrade, it breaks down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So this reaction occurs only when you heat calcium carbonate. So it is considered as endothermic reaction. That is heat is absorbed by the reactant to produce the products. Students, I have been performing experiments for you. You have been viewing it and the feedback that you have given to me is that you find it very, very interesting. 
how about doing the task on your own today i'll give you a task you will do it on your own and observe the changes taking place and report the observation to me in the next class tomorrow for this task you will require some detergent and some water in a beaker i have taken you can take it in a bucket now this detergent i put it on my fist close the fist and immerse it into the water and keep the fist in the water for some time you will feel some changes taking place now you are supposed to report the changes that take place you do not get worried about the chemical reaction but what you observe what you feel you are going to note it down and report it to me we end the class with this assignment you are supposed to complete the assignment on time thank you bye bye have a nice day